What's up, Finn? What's up, YouTube? It's Zach. I'm here with the Splatoon 2 edition Nintendo Switch here. <laughs> really excited to show you guys. I guess Finn is too. Um, so without further ado, let's get into this. So um, I'm really excited because this has a very cool artwork on the back. And then we've also got cool artwork on the, uh, the sides and the front and everything. It's got the exclusive colorways um, for the, uh, the Joy-Con controllers and it also comes with a uh, Splatoon 2 carrying case. Uh, so that'll be uh, pretty neat uh, to be uh, checking out there. Now, um, I do want to note that when I got this, uh, this switch, it actually was not um, taped shut. I don't know if this is a, uh, a normal thing, but that's uh, the way it goes. So here we are now. I am pulling out the Nintendo Switch console. Now, believe it or not, I expected this to be slightly larger than what it actually is. Um, still very awesome. So here it is. Um, it's got the, uh, the little kickstand on the back. Um, it's about the size of my hand here, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we have our two Joy-Con controllers here. So this is our left controller, the green one, and the pink one would be our right controller. Very cool. And then moving on from this part, we uh, take out this plastic here, or actually it's cardboard, not plastic. Get your story straight there, Zach. All right, now this should be the case, if I am not mistaken. Word. pretty cool um I mean if nothing else it's like a solid uh, construction um, maybe not like what I'd like pick for uh, you know my colorway choices but then again I did get the Splatoon 2 switch so um, you know what can I expect so we have here the uh, little side pouches um, which will help us store our games um, we can put additional stuff in there um, and I want to say that it should kind of like angle in a way that allows you to display the switch um, and play if you don't want to use the kickstand. I don't know. So that's that. Very cool. Um, I mean, I would say it's important, like, just no matter what, to um, have a, um, a case for your switch, case for your phone, case for anything really that costs you a lot of money because a case. Even though it might look ugly, um, will save you a lot of trouble in the uh, the long run. I'd say for sure. Um, so that's why I was not like upset or um, you know disappointed or anything about getting a uh, a switch or a Splatoon 2 case. Um, so one thing I will say is that. It doesn't actually come with the physical game um, for Splatoon 2. It just comes with this card here. Um, it gives you a download from the Nintendo Store. I'm not going to complain. Um, I want to say the Splatoon 2 game is only like 3 gigs. Um, so it won't be that big of a deal. Um, I just got the, uh, the Switch console. So I didn't get any of the uh, extra peripherals or you know, all this other stuff. Because um, I mean, I have time. Uh, this isn't going to go out of style anytime soon. So, um, in addition to uh, coming with the uh, the Joy Cons, it comes with like the side um, Joy Con grip things, the uh, uh, the hand holder things. Make sure you don't put them on the wrong hand or on the wrong Joy Con, or else I guess you have a pretty tough time um, getting them unstuck from that. Um, you also get the uh, the, this is the Joy-Con grip, I guess. You put the two together, and then you can you know, play it like the uh, the Pro Controller or whatever. I'll eventually get a Pro Controller, but I mean, like before, I'm not in any real true rush as far as things go. This, I'm going to say, is probably the dock. Yeah. So this here is the dock. This is what lets you switch from uh, mobile mode to, uh, to the... Um, this on screen, big screen version. So, this is pretty neat here. And then we'll move on, put this bad boy back in the box. Um, it comes with the uh, 
the HDMI cable here, which is pretty neat. Um, not super long, but I mean, you're going to have the docks probably near your TV. Um, so that will be pretty cool. And then we also have this uh, the power adapter, um, which I want to say is like a fairly universal power adapter. So it should you should be able to like plug it in or something. I haven't read too much on that part, but um, we'll have to... Uh, Kind of look into it a little more to find out. I'm sure you can look up somewhere on YouTube or somewhere on Google um, and figure it out. NBD. So I just wanted to share with you guys. I was super excited. Um, I wanted to unbox this bad boy, um, get uh, and get into it as soon as possible. Um, Joy Cons are pretty cool. Um, I was never like super like afraid um, of the Joy Cons because I don't have like super huge monster hands um, so like Joy-Cons fit like perfectly well in my hands uh, so that's pretty nice um, so they uh, the buttons feel like they click real well um, we got the the analog sticks they uh, they seem to function fairly nicely um, you also have the um, the left and right bumpers on the sides there that you can you know bump up to a little bit bigger with the uh, I don't know what you call these. I think it says on the, the bottom of the box or where it is. Um, the Joy-Con straps, if you will. So we have the, uh, the Joy-Con straps, which you can put on there, and they add a little uh, padding to the bumpers there. Uh, so that's something that uh, I'll probably get into in a little while. Um, but then there's, you know, here's the uh, the switch, um, the Joy-Con. What is this thing called? The Joy-Con Grip. They got such fancy terms for these things that I uh, I can't get my uh, can't get my story straight here. But it's like such a funny looking controller. Like it's like it looks like a total square. Um, but what I think is like kind of funny is it it feels great in your hand. It fits perfectly. So I don't know. Thanks guys uh, for tuning in. I'm really excited to get uh, into this. Can't wait to start playing some Splatoon 2. Um, and then I'll get into some uh, probably Zelda um, once I get a, uh, another paycheck. <laughs> um, I do want to say to you guys before I, uh, I, I let you go. Today, or maybe yesterday, I'm not sure when this video will get up. But uh, the 5th of October was Wave Murray's birthday. So hop on over to his uh, YouTube channel. Uh, say hello, give him a like, subscribe to his thing. Um, I mean, I know he doesn't need the uh, the help that perhaps I might need because he has way more charisma and he's like got all these silly YouTube ideas going on all the time. Um, so I just want you guys to uh, give him a nice birthday shout out, make him feel super cool about that. And I am gonna go uh, annoy my sister with this switch. <laughs> Peace.